Yeah, yeah. Let's see you just flex TV. You know, see them are watching a 4K and a 3D. You know it good, you know. Girl, I watch you like cinema. Say she won't get a kid in your ass. Yes, so blessings, blessings, my people, blessings to each and every one. Just a check in, come to give you guys, you know, some updates. So, well, we hope everybody being blessed, stay blessed as always. First time over the Just Blacks TV, just press the subscribe button for free, notification bell, all, and not even have to make a call. Well, you know, say evening now. So, for those who went out this morning, reach home safe as early as this time. Watching and listening to Just Blacks TV, just let the Almighty be praised because I am a Lent nowadays. Peeps, just like up the video, please, and thank you very much. I'll push it up in our YouTube rankings uh, so you know, say, so you have to watch a complete video. If you know where I go on a Jamaica because you know, so we bring the good, the bad, and the ugly. Some will say the indifference. But anyway, we're going to kickstart with Taekwondo, Lovelace. 11 year old taekwondo lovelace of manningsill road kingston 8 has been missing since monday october 20 2024 he is of dark complexion slim built and is about four feet tall last seen at home he was dressed in a blue plaid shirt and a khaki pants i've seen just reach out to the nearest police station moving over to where urgent appeal for help al pacino mignat missing in canada a mother desperate plea is spreading through social media as she seeks information about her son, Al Pacino Mignat, who has been missing in Canada since October 21. So Mignat, who traveled from Jamaica to Canada on October 16, last contacted his family on Saturday evening. And since then, communication has been lost in a heartfelt message. Mignat's mother is urging the public, particularly those with friends or family in Canada, to help in spreading awareness of her son's disappearance. Right, so all are just blacks viewers them. We're in a Canada and thing. Yeah, man, you can share up the video man your site. Yeah, because I saw it going on, man. You might have surprised. If you know, say, just a look at sharing's one do. It lead to big thing your site. So I just tip them thing you know, that's why I just try to push the people. So certain updates what I do if I can just share it because you don't know it will spread. So peeps, missing again is Kayan Garden, age 18, last seen in Black River on July 15, 2023. Her mode of dress at the time she went missing is unknown. She is of dark complexion, medium built, and is about 165 centimeters, 5 feet, 5 inches tall. So if seen, just call it Lakovia Police 119 or the nearest police station. So peeps, President of John Mills Primary PTA says parents ready to pull their children if principal is reinstated. Yes, my people. Head of the Parent Teachers Association of John Mills Primary and Junior High School, Mark Chout, says parents are fully prepared to withdraw their children from the institution and stage a protest if suspended principal Bradley Robinson, who was recently freed of pornography charges, is allowed to return to the school. Right, people? So to get more of this, yeah, man, you can just reach over to the Jamaica Observer, your site. But me just I give you guys, you know, the main ingredients. So the courts have freed him, but we are of the position that he should not return to the school. Right? Yeah, because the people must say, right now, this better yeah, a pornography star big pornography celebrity so in out of them school peeps man sentenced to over 50 years for shooting and firearm offenses so russian samuels also known as sonson from tivoli gardens was sentenced to over 50 years in prison after being found guilty of multiple counts of shooting with intent and illegal firearm possession. The charges stem from a robbery incident on April 6, 2020 in Denham Town, Kingston 14. Right, my people, but anyway, this is a long read. So if you want to really understand and really want to know where go down, you can just go over to the Jamaica Gleaner. Yeah, me just a skip and I go through because you don't know what that me have to do. You know, but we just say, Jaja, over 50 years, you know. And I know them not some murder, you know, they know say shooting with, with intent. I saw it for go. Yeah, man, I saw it for go. So, people, this is a video with a female. I can't tell you if it's a police or a licensed firearm holder, but she's a female. And by watching the video, saying that this man here right now in the red shirt, she was saying that he might extort the people. But, boy, little did we know that the man in the red shirt allegedly is a conductor. And it's like she hit the bus and the man must say something and she go across and use her gun and push off the man's face. But anyway, people, 
we just hope the best in this situation. So fire destroys homes and water lane in downtown Kingston. So more than 25 people are homeless. Yes, yesterday morning after fire destroyed nearly 10 houses and water lane in downtown Kingston, several children were among those affected, with residents reporting that they lost all their belongings in the blaze. No injuries have been reported. The fire reportedly started around 3 a.m. So firefighters say three units responded to contain the flames. The cause of the fire is still under investigation right so them still are trying to find out the cause had the fire but we just said jaja you hear me when you see them type of thing there you know all i look up bad wire you know jaja who up the best so two charging suspected stolen motor vehicle ring two men were charged by the st catherine north cib for reportedly receiving stolen property in an ongoing investigation into a possible stolen motor vehicle ring in Linstead. Right, my people, so you remember all of them updates uh, when I give you guys a couple weeks back. Well, it led to where two men got charged so far. So, peeps, bike taxi operator gone down in Grange Hill, Westmoreland. Police launched an investigation into the shooting death of a bike taxi operator early Sunday morning. The victim has been identified as 23-year-old Fabian Powell from Tapling and Grange Hill. Reports indicate that around 1.30 a.m. Powell was sitting outside a bar on his motorcycle when a man approached him, pulled out a handgun, fired several shots. The shooter then fled the scene on foot. Powell was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. This marks the second killing in Tap Lincoln within a week, despite Grange Hill being placed under two curfews in October. Yes, I So no care what them police are there, how thing, people still are dead. I'm just a wonder why. Just see me start. But anyway, people, look at the screen. Yes, this is a Jamaican man, Jason Johnson, fatally wounded in Grand Cayman. We mean him get dirt, right? And this incident happened Sunday night. Yes, my people, in a place where they call him Georgetown, right? Yes, so his alias also goes by the name Saddam. Yeah, my people, but just say, I see people comment and say right now he was a good youth because I came and they knew him and all them knew him is a good youth. But nobody don't know what really got down and thing. But just be, we Jamaicans are salt everywhere we go, so we have to try to keep ourselves to ourselves. You know, because in other ways, nobody don't really feel we. You know, we put on our flex. But anyway, alleged gunman dead, licensed firearm holder injured during attempted robbery. So an alleged gunman is dead and a licensed firearm holder is in hospital following an attempted robbery in the vicinity of Newport West in St. Anjo last night. It's reported that the gun owner was driving along a road when men in a car attempted to rob him. The men were challenged by the man. And peeps say, no, go on. Yeah, the man come like in dirt one. Because here the man said the men, you know. Yeah, man. So you don't know what go on people. I just say I'm glad. I hope the best for that license for you. I'm older. You know, just CB, but I'm sorry I'm never calling up every one of them. Send them home. So peeps, one dead, one injured in shooting on Berwick Road, St. Andrew. Yeah, my people. Serious thing. This is like Max Hill. So I shoot in. Yes, and Berwick Road. Last night left one man dead and another injured. The deceased has been identified as 51-year-old Mark Forrester, known as Uka, who lived on Berwick Road. So reports indicate that around 10.20 p.m., gunfire erupted in the era, prompting a police response. When officers arrived, they found Forrester and a 48-year-old man from Spanish Town suffering from gunshot wounds. Man from Spanish Town. Earlier, I made a update on a comment at him. I made about, about kid and, and Spanish tone and accurate and bravery. I made him say that if a Spanish tone, you know that the man if I don't know what kid and about from. So both were rushed to the Kingston Public Hospital where Forrester was pronounced dead. The injured man remains in hospital as no, no motive for the shooting has been established and the Owens Bay Criminal Investigation Branch is conducting an investigation into the incident. Right, my people? Yeah, I'm back to where we are, say. You know, me I try to tell the man, say, right now, you know, I'm Max Seal. You know, that man get introduced to me, and I know, say, bad from them, a park lane at the time them they live. But anyway, we'll allow that to we update. We're not even distracted by that. But we just say, you see where going, people? Yeah, just this one, I just, I give to you guys everything, just read back. You know, say, everything I do, say, see it as Spanish tone, you know. 
man left from Ghana, Max Hill can get caught up down there. So a long time them are wrong. So battered schoolboy suspected of Kiabi's murder under police guard. Two schoolboys, age 15 and 17, remain hospitalized at a corporate era medical facility after they were severely beaten and then handed over to the police by angry residents of Lawrence Tavern in St. Andrew on Saturday following their suspected involvement in the murder of a taxi driver. Right? But peeps, I don't know if I the same thing, miss it, but I like them I say right now, the two men them even the kidnap, you know? Yeah, then kidnap two kids. I don't know about that, but boy, yeah, I mean, people are wicked. They yeah, don't do them youth are too vicious. Because if you look at school boy, they, right? How should I have school or a child learn a trade? A big crime, they may go away and where is the parents? Because in a them time, I'm not to be the children too much, you know, the parents, they may not because of them bring them come here and you know, they have to stand up, you know. But anyway, my people, me do enough talking once I get to the kid. You guys are sharing the comments in the section below, because I know none of you guys are ugly like no John Crow. Up top, bless him. And them for no side, Jai Meds, representing for Just Blex. Just Blex tell them some prior words. When the heat ends, I try for you. Was he a dire hurt? The most I alert. If I them alone, them alone. Yeah, man, Just Blex, you don't know your success getting them upset, you know what I mean?